Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And uh, in this session, we are going to discuss top 20 MCQs on unsupervised learning that is going to help you for gate exam as well as other competitive exams, your placement interviews as well as for your semester exams of engineering syllabus as well for each and every aspect these mcqs are going to fit very well so please do watch the video till the end this is fourth part previously we have discussed part one part two part three where we have covered basic mcqs of classification techniques regression techniques and basic concepts of machine learning techniques this is part four and in the next part part 5 we are going to cover neural networks too so do subscribe stay tuned and in the future we are going to cover many more subjects as well so you are going to get lot of knowledge from this channel do subscribe stay tuned like the video meanwhile you get any doubt please be interactive in the comment section too okay so question number one if you are going to see here which of the following is a type of clustering method in unsupervised learning clustering method type of a clustering method regression classification clustering supervised learning so clustering itself is a c right normally which of the following is a type of clustering method in unsupervised learning so clustering by default it is mentioned clustering um, so we will go with c question number two which type of clustering starts by considering each data point as a separate cluster and progressively merges them right so which of the following start with considering each data point as a separate mean initially each and every data points are uh, separated and they keep merging them one by one in any of the fashion right so such kind of uh, uh, algorithm is considered under agglomerative clustering you know agglomerative so this is also of two types bottom up and top to down right bottom up and top to down so in this uh, if we talk about uh, top uh, bottom to up in bottom to up each and every individual cluster each and every data point is going to be treated as a, a separate cluster individual cluster and after each iteration they are going to be merged right so agglomerative clustering it is okay now question number three what is the main difference between agglomerative and divisive so basically if you talk about agglomerative then uh, it is starts with one cluster while divisive starts with individual no agglomerative starts with individual data points while divisive starts with one cluster so option b is the correct answer because uh, in uh, agglomerative individual all the data points are all are separated individually and by each iteration they are going to merge but in divisive all are individually clustered and after each iteration they are going to be divided so that is like that right so option b is the correct answer question number four which of the following is a partitional clustering method partitional so partitional means k means clustering we call k means clustering partitional clustering right c question number five in k means clustering what does k represent what is the essence of k the number of clusters to be formed obviously a itself is a correct k is nothing but how many number of clusters we have to form a is the correct one question number six what is the main objective of k means clustering maximize the sum of square distances between points minimize within cluster within cluster sum of squares maximize within sum within cluster sum of squares or minimize number of iterations whenever we talk about k means clustering k means clustering is partitional it minimizes within cluster sum of cluster so in each cluster they are going to minimize they are going to compress it they are going to minimize within cluster sum of square so all the data points should be very very similar with each other right so within cluster option b is the correct one question number seven which of the following is true about k means algorithm so 
converges to a global optimum no it is sensitive to initial cluster center yes option b it is correct because uh, in k means clustering you know that by default what we observe by default we observe at the initial position that uh, we have to choose to uh, initially centroid according to our best knowledge so it is sensitive to the init initial cluster center that manually we choose so b is the correct one Question number eight. What is the main idea behind association rule mining? So behind association rule mining, uh, finding patterns in time series data. No, finding relationship variable in large data set. Yes, if we want to find out the relationship between large data variable, then we can go with association rule mining. Clustering data. No, performing classification label data. No, B is the most correct one. Question number nine. Which algorithm is most commonly used for mining association rules? For mining association rules, we use a priori algorithm. A priori algorithm is used most commonly for mining the association rules, right? Question number 10. Which of the following is a key operation in the a priori algorithm? So in a priori algorithm frequent data items generation what are the frequent data items right so option a is the correct one question number 11 in the context of association rule mining what does the term support refer to what is support in the association rule so support is nothing but you know it is a ratio of transaction that contain a particular item set so let's say total transactions are n and k number of transactions are happening for any particular object so k by n is going to be called a support factor so let's say you go five times to a dairy shop and out of this five times you purchase the three time bread so three by five is going to be called as the support value of a bread right so b is the correct one question number 12 so which of the following is true about fp3 algorithm it is used for regression analysis it requires multiple passes over the data set to generate frequent item set it is a partitional clustering algorithm or it works by constructing a compact tree structure to mine frequent pattern. So if you will see it, which of the following is true about FP tree algorithm? It works by constructing a compact tree structure to mine frequent patterns. You know that in FP tree algorithm, every time try to construct the compact tree structure and try to mine what are the frequent patterns means which tree is frequently appearing and based on that it is going to generate the most frequent pattern right so normally it is a part of uh, association rule mining so option d is the correct one for question number 12 question number 13 which of the following is a measure of the quality of clusters in the clustering algorithm so you know that uh, Measure measure means matrix CLOT coefficient CLOT coefficient CLOT coefficient is the matrix which is normally used for clustering purpose, right? Question number 14. The CLOT coefficient help in determining what? So what it determine? It or determine optimal number of clusters because CLOT coefficient itself is a co it itself is a matrix for clustering. So how optimally your clusters have been done means. Uh, it just define the clustering that whether the clustering is done well or not what is the efficiency of your cluster means how well your clusters are formed whether the similar data points are grouped together and different different data points are uh, not in the same cluster right so if the data is different it should be into the different cluster so optimality of your clusters will be defined by this it is a one of the evaluation metric of clustering technique that is CLOT coefficient option a Question number 15. Which of the following is used to measure the compactness and separation of clusters? Compactness and separation of Dunn's index. Because you know that uh, Dunn's index is also one of the evaluation metrics used for uh, uh, used for the clustering technique. And Dunn's index is basically uh, we use right as a part of uh, 
evaluation metric in clustering technique right and it is used for measuring compactness compactness and separation of cluster compactness means uh, how compact means the within within cluster will be reduced and uh, this distance distance between different different clusters will be increased this distance is going to be maximum and inside distance between the data points will be minimum so dunce index do it right it measures it option a question number 16 what does a high value of dunce index indicate so high value means if the dunce index value is high means the clustering is well better clustering quality with well separated and compact cluster option a is the correct one which of the following best describe hierarchical clustering hierarchical clustering it divides data into mutually exclusive group without any hierarchy or it starts with large cluster and divide it iteratively into smaller clusters or it forms cluster by merging small clusters iteratively or it is a partitional clustering algorithm right so here we are talking about hierarchical clustering and hierarchical clustering is one by one at the initial in hierarchical clustering it could be top to down as well as it could be uh, bottom to up so we have to define it generally so we can call it like it starts with a large collect a large cluster and divide it iteratively into a smaller cluster so it is going to be considered as a top to down approach it divides data into mutually exclusive group without any hierarchy no uh, it forms cluster by merging small clusters iteratively forms cluster by merging so it is going to be considered as a bottom up approach it is partitional clustering so if you will see c it forms cluster by merging small clusters iteratively that is bottom up clustering this is bottom up clustering basically if you will see hierarchical then uh, this option b is also going to be considered as a hierarchical because uh, if you talk about uh, top to down top to down uh, method then in top to down each uh, all the data are individually grouped together and in each iteration they are divided like that right so both are hierarchical so here it could be considered as a msq multiple statement question b and c question number 18 uh, which of the following is not an evaluation metric for clustering? Okay, uh, CLOT coefficient is a clustering metric. Uh, dunce index is also clustering metric. Precision inertia, precision, precision is used for classification technique, right? It is for classification, not for clustering. Question number nineteen. Which of the following is true about P means clustering? Which of the following is true about K means clustering? K means work well with non spherical clusters. K means require the number of clusters K to be specified in advanced. K means work well with highly imbalanced data. K means is sensitive to noise and outliers. So, which is true? K means require number of clusters to be specified in advance. Because by default, first step itself that we randomly choose k number of centroids, right? So, b is the correct one. Okay, in the last question, so please do subscribe the channel for more such MCQ session. Like the video, share it with your friends, comment your thoughts, your queries, your doubts, and stay tuned, right? Let's discuss the question number 20. What is the main advantage of using a priori algorithm over other methods in association rule mining? Why we use a priori rather than other algorithms? It uses a depth first search strategy to find the frequent item. Option B, it is faster than other algorithms like FP growth. Option C, it prunes the E search space using the property that subsets of frequent items must also be frequent or it is useful for continuous data so whenever we talk about a priori algorithm it is part of association rule mining association rule mining right and in association rule mining there are many algorithms and the reason is it owns the search space using the property that subset of frequent item must also be frequent and due to this reason we prefer it right so option c is the correct answer here
okay these are the links where you can uh, subscribe us you can connect with us thank you so much stay tuned have a nice day jai hind jai bharat